Hey everybody, how's it going? Kim here, welcome back. Today we are doing a 30 minute strength training workout. We will be doing this in a tricep format. So what we'll do is a lower body exercise followed by an upper body, and then we'll do an ab exercise. You will need a set of hand weights or a few sets if you wanna go a little heavier for the lower body and a mat or something comfortable to lie on. Go ahead, grab what you need, get yourself all set up, and when you're ready, we'll get started. We're gonna warm it up. So take your hands on your hips. We're gonna come into a hinge. So we come to about 90, then you're gonna lift yourself up, belly in and sit into a squat. Good, we're just warming it up. So you don't have to squat very deep right now. We just wanna get some movement in those legs, get the joints moving. Start focusing on that breath. Nice deep breaths in and exhale. Good. And down. We're gonna go four. And three. Last one, bring it all the way up. We're gonna take a step out and just squat to the side. Good, alternating squat down. Just gonna do a few of these. Let's go eight and seven. Four, three. Good. Come on up, we're just gonna take those elbows to the back wall and we're pivoting up on the toe, rotating through the hips. Nice spinal twist right here. Now we're gonna stretch it into the back. So reach those arms for the corner of your room. Reach, reach. Great job, let's go eight. And seven. Four. And one. Arms pushing down and then reach them up. Get nice and long here. Get those shoulders moving. Get tall, four more, three. I'm gonna take it into a lunge back. So we're gonna go reverse lunge, step back with your left leg and then twist towards your right side. Lift up, down, twist, good. Starting to engage the abdominal muscles. And lift, down. Twist. One more each side. Good. And from here, we're gonna take our hands down to the floor. Give it a little twist. Really push that hip flexor down. Come on down, step into plank, switch sides. Good, reach. And out, alternating side to side. Good, one more on this final one. Let's bring both feet in. Place your hands on your knees, lift yourself up. We're gonna arch our back here, stretch out that low back, and then push the belly forward. Good, so tuck that tailbone down and under, and lift it up towards the sky. Push that belly down to the floor. Inhale, roll. Exhale. One more time. And down, this time we're gonna roll it all the way up. Shoulders meet the ears, drop them back and down. Let's come down into a nice lateral lunge. Lift the toes, 
Walk yourself over side to side. Good. I'm gonna get nice and warm for this workout. Last one. And bring it center, walk those feet in, lift yourself up. We're just gonna kick our glutes with our heels. Give those quads a stretch. And three, two, and one. There it is, shake it out. We're gonna start with our first tricep. So you're gonna pick up your heaviest set of weights. So for me, I'm doing 25s today as my heavy set, and I'm gonna use these for both my weighted squat and my chest press. So those are our two, first two exercises. We wanna start with our toes pointing forward. Now you can either hold your weights at your side or you can bring them up onto your shoulders. All right, you want those elbows out. You wanna pull your belly button in. When we sit back into our squat, I want you to think of putting that weight all the way into the heels of the feet. Here we go, squat it down and drive it up. Inhale, exhale. Good, seven seconds. We'll have 10 seconds to transition onto the floor. So take it right down whew, to the floor. You can lighten up weights if you need to or use what you're using. Elbows out to the side, right at chest level. We press, release, push, good. Pull your belly button in. You want a strong core. Working just the chest here. Lift, release. Press and down. You've got it. And down. Let's bring those weights right beside us. We're gonna go into a V up. So you want your hands over your head. All right, legs are down. We're gonna lift. Hold here and release. Keep your back pressed down onto the floor. Lift, exhale, release. Inhale up. Now we're gonna be repeating that tri set. So right after this, get yourself off the floor, get ready for those squats. One more time through. Good, knees in. Stand it up, grab your weights. Very little rest in between, just enough time to transition. All right, here we go, right into that squat. Down and press. Got my chest lifted up. Six seconds. Whew. Back down to the floor, right into that chest press. Elbows out to the side. Here we go. Lift, release. Exhale, lift, inhale down. Nice work, weights to the floor, V up time, then you're gonna get a rest. We're gonna move on to our second tricep. We have a five in total. Here we go. Back into the ground, press, extend.
Nice work. <sighs> okay, we're moving on. Second try set. I'm gonna lighten up my weights for this one. <sighs> so I'm gonna go into some 20s. We're gonna do a forward lunge. So you're gonna be stepping forward into your lunge. Then we'll be bending over for some rows. Then we'll be hitting the floor for <laughs> some single leg kickouts. Okay, so grab those weights. This time you wanna have them right beside you. Shoulders are rolled back, belly in. We're gonna step forward, drive the heel into the ground, bend the knee, push back with your heel. Good. You've got this in 10 seconds. <laughs> All right, let's bend those knees. You want your back nice and straight, shoulders back and down. We're gonna row right here. Elbows up and release. Breathe. Nice work. Let's place the weights down. We gotta come down to the floor. So we're gonna start in a V position. Hands behind our back, fingers pointing towards our glutes. Knees are bent. We're gonna roll one leg out, pull it in. Extend that leg out as you extend your back towards the floor. Kick it out. Breathe. Kick and press. Nice work, right back up for those lunges. Grab your hand weights, forward lunge, right here. Nice work. Are you ready? Hinge it forward. Slight bend in those knees. Row. Five. Weights down, getting onto the floor for the abs. You get another recovery, we'll be on. Try set number three, here we go. Kick. Lock those lower abs in, all right. Drop the feet, take a rest. We're gonna go on to some deadlifts. So deadlifts, I go my heavy set of weights. Then we'll do some shoulder press. So I'm gonna go 25s and 15s. Feel free to go a little heavier if you've got heavier weights for your deadlifts. You wanna have those weights right in front of you, right by your feet. We're gonna hinge down. We wanna have a straight back. You can have a slight bend into the knees when you lift. Squeeze the glutes, drive through your hips. Here we go, 
Lift straight back and drive those hips forward. Squeeze your glutes. Press. Nice job. Eight seconds. Think strong glutes here. Working those hamstrings. Good. Picking up a little lighter for the shoulder press. So we wanna start with those wrists pointing forward, elbows out to the side, you're pushing up and release. Good, we always wanna keep a slight bend in through the knees, just so we're not hyperextending and locking the kneecaps. Belly in, tailbone pushes down and press. Good. Weights to the floor. Come on down, we're gonna lie on our back. Get your legs straight up, toes pointing towards you. We're gonna alternate, touching our baby toe. Lift, release, lift, release. Cross that hand. So toe taps with a cross. Exhale, inhale. Lift the shoulders off the floor. Release it down one vertebrae at a time. Reach, release. Good job. All right, one more time there. Deadlifts to start. Lift. Lower those down. Get yourself prepped for the shoulder presses. Pressing up right here. Push. Lift and down. Push. Nice job. Okay, down to the floor, toe touches. And we only have two triceps to go. Okay, are you ready? Work. Okay, we're gonna stay on the floor for this next one. I'm gonna have one of my heavy sets of weights and then I'm gonna go to some 12s because we're gonna be doing some skull crushers, so working those triceps. We're gonna start with a glute bridge, so lower. Then we'll do the triceps, the skull crushers, and then we'll do a reverse crunch for our abs. So for your glute bridge, we're gonna add a little bit of a pulse. So I want you to have that weight right on your hips your heels are under your knees. We're gonna drive the hips up, pulse, two, release. Lift, pulse, two, release. Squeeze your glutes, pushing your hips up to meet the ceiling. If you wanna get those hips as high up as you can. And down, good. Lift, squeeze. 
Roll that over onto the floor, grab your single sets dumbbells, so your lighter set. We're gonna take our legs into 90, push your back into the ground, arms are right over your shoulders, you're gonna bend the elbows, drop those weights on either side of your head. Good. Isolating those triceps. And lift. Bring the weights to your chest. Lower them down. We're gonna keep those legs in that position. Place your hands under your head. We're gonna try to bring our hips to meet our rib cage and then release. So squeeze the abs, lift those ribs towards the rib cage and release. Working the lower abdominals. work. All right, one more time through. Then we're on our final tricep for the day. And we'll be going back to a standing position. Are you ready? Bridge, pulse, release. Squeeze. Roll it over. Skull pressures, arms up. Get your legs at 90. If you find that your back starts to peel off the ground, just place your feet on the ground. All right, you wanna keep that core strong. Protect your spine as you work those triceps. Triceps. <laughs> got triceps on the mind. We've got a full week of triceps this week. So today we're doing full body strength on Wednesday. We've got a kettlebell, deadlift, and plank tricep. And we'll finish the week on Friday with some cardio, upper body, and abs. <sighs> Great job, weights down. All right, reverse crunch. <sighs> Hands under the head. Here we go. Crunch, release. <sighs> you wanna let all the air out as you crunch it up. Inhale. Nice work. Okay, final one. We're gonna come on up. We're gonna do some curtsy lunges and I'm gonna do this in a goblet style. So I'm gonna stick with my one 25 pound. We're gonna be holding that weight right at our chest. Then we wanna take our leg behind on a diagonal, hips are forward. We're gonna lower down into a curtsy, step it out, then take it over to the other side. Then we're gonna go into some curls, then down to the floor for some bicycle crunches. So grab whichever weight you wanna use. Elbows tucked in, hips forward, here we go. Good, down and up. How are you feeling? We got some bicep curls. So I'm going 15s again, just for reference, use the weights that are best for you. We're gonna lift and release. And down. Good, elbows tucked in right near the body. And release.
down. Come on down to the floor. We're gonna do some bicycles and one more round. So, legs at 90, hands at your ears. Shoulders gonna come across to meet that opposite knee as you extend the leg out. Back pushing down, breathe. Grab that weight. One more time for those curtsy lunges. Let's work. Good work. Five. Place it down. Right into your curls. Here we go. Lift it, release. right to the floor for those bicycles and we're gonna stay there because we're gonna stretch it out okay here we go arms up Drop it down. Great job, guys. Whew. Are you feeling stronger? <sighs> let's do a little stretch right here. So let's take our heels to meet each other. We're gonna let those knees open up, arms down by your side. Take a nice deep breath in. And good, you wanna feel those hips just letting go. And breathe out. One more. Good, let's extend those legs all the way out. Take your hands over your head and then really point your toes and reach your fingers. So you wanna feel like you're trying to get as long as you can. Big full stretch through the full body. Good, then bring the knees in to meet your chest and curl up like a little ball. Get into that low back. You can even roll yourself from side to side. Give it a little massage. Treat yourself. Good, three, two, and one. Place those hands straight out beside you. We're gonna bring those knees across the body, keeping our shoulders pushing down onto the ground. If your shoulder starts to pop up, and just lift your knees slightly. You can even place something under your knees. Now you can turn your head to meet the opposite hand. And breathe it out. And roll it over to the other side.
I'm gonna bring it all the way back up to center, place the feet on the floor, then roll yourself over onto one side, coming onto all fours. And we're gonna do some cat cows. So hands underneath your shoulders, toes are in the mat, your knees are directly underneath your hips. You're gonna take your tailbone down to the ground, pull that belly in, arch through your back, bring your chin down to your chest. And as you exhale, you take that tailbone up towards the ceiling, push your belly and your chest down towards the floor and then look center or even up. Nice big arch through that back, opening up the front of the body and exhale, round it. Inhale. And one more time. And release, step one leg forward, coming into a nice low lunge, holding right here. Good, let's get that hip down to the floor. You can take your hand on your knee and give yourself a little bit of a twist right here. Straighten out that spine, tuck that back leg into the floor. We're gonna step it forward slightly and then straighten out that front leg. down and then we're just going to switch sides so bring the other leg forward come into that low lunge and just hang here for a few seconds let the hip muscles relax into this stretch if it feels good you can do that twist here with the spine Straighten it out. Back leg comes into the floor, step it forward and straighten out that front leg. Good, release it down. Let's stretch out our feet today. So we're going to place our toes into the mat and then sit on our heels. Let's take a deep breath. Bring our arms across the body. Give ourselves an eagle arm here, or you could just hold onto your shoulders. We wanna stretch out the upper back. And we're sitting on the heels, so we're opening up through the bottom of the feet. Feet take a lot of abuse every day as we walk on them. <laughs> Good, switch the arms. and release it down. You can release those feet, sit cross-legged, take a nice deep breath up. Exhale it down one more time, inhale it up. You guys did it, great job. Thank you for joining me. If you're new here and like that workout, think about subscribing. I'm doing workouts every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for you guys. All right, take care, I'll see you on the next one.